On BBC Radio Norfolk, it's Kaylee here with you. We're live from Red Rooster Festival on the Euston Estate, not too far from Thetford. And as well as the music, we've covered the food, we've covered the barbecue zone, but also there's other things to do as well. There's sort of sneaky bits of entertainment chucked in for good measure. And you know I'm always a happy girl when I have got dogs around me and I've got all the dogs around me at the moment. Uh, and it's lovely. And, and I think it's just brilliant to be able to bring your dog somewhere sometimes and, and of course, brilliant for them, for the training, for the socialisation, but also to keep their minds ticking over as well, because I'm currently stood in the middle of a dog agility field. I can see all the hurdles around me. There's a very big tube going through the middle uh, and quite a nice paddling pool, which I imagine on a really hot day is quite well used by a lot of our fairy friends. Uh, I'm joined as well with Sarah and Olivia, who are with me. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, so Sarah, tell me first of all, I mean, who, who have you got with you? We've, we've got uh, Teddy, who's the Bernadoodle, and Lola, who's a, a Spinoni, and we've got a Shiba Inu called Aiko, uh, various dogs. There's lo lots of dogs around. <laughs> and, I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. And, and I say, you, you can tell sort of that there's a bit of oodle in there because you can see sort of the slightly curly coats going on. You come to this quite often, don't you? We do. There's a lot of curliness going on here because we're quite wet. So that it's brought out the curls and every, everybody, dogs included. But yeah, we come every year. We're, we're House of March. We, um, we're invited on by the festival organisers to come and just set up a, a dog area. So we've, we've got a lovely enclosed pen. Um, we've got jumps. We've got tunnels. Uh, we've got a tent which is needed today for, for dryness. So everyone who's got their dogs here can just come along and, and the dogs can chill a bit and they can have a, have a race around and enjoy themselves. Um, a lot of dog people come and just chat, and we 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 sit in the tent and, and chat dog, and uh, you know, the kids come over and play with the dogs. It's all very relaxed. We're not here to sort of sell anything or do anything. We're just just here to to be a dog zone in the middle of of the festival. And I love to hear you talk about us, us as part of the entertainment because we're at a festival, so that's the entertainment. But actually, <laughs> we think we think it's all about dogs, and and we've got a lovely spot in the middle of the festival area, and dog people just gather here. And that must be lovely. And, and to be able to go to events, to be able to go to festivals and, and bring your dog with you, that, that must be a really lovely part of it. I think it's brilliant, isn't it? Um, they have a limited number, a restricted number of dog tickets. Um, but the dogs are really welcome here. And I think a lot of places people say, oh, yeah, you can take dogs, but they're not really that welcome. Here, it's, it's well, as you know, the organisers have asked us to be here for a start. And it's just, the dogs are really welcome and they're well looked after. It's a beautiful setting. Um, the dogs that come seem to be really happy with the music. Um, owners look happy with the dogs. It's all, it's it's very relaxed and happy. <laughs> now, I have to say, the, the favourite person here by a long shot is Olivia, currently with the currently with the bag full of sausage. Uh, I think you're definitely every every dog's best friend right now. Yes, I think if I left the pen, I'd be mugged for mugged for the sausages. But um, no, they were very kindly donated by a chap earlier who saw me walking past and said, "Would your dog like a sausage?" So <laughs> we've come with multiple. But uh, remind me who I've got because I've just made a friend. Uh, is my foot comfy? Is that a comfy foot while you have a scratch? This is Lo. Uh, she's a nine-month-old Spinoni, and she's been working very hard today because this is quite a lot for her to take in. So kind of tying into your socialization is excellent for dogs to come to a place like this where you've got food on the floor smells sounds people moving things around tents flapping music that's quite loud and just lots of different things to see so she's been working very hard on being a bit braver being a bit more confident and actually relaxing and she's doing really really well at that I think for most of us, you know, we, we take our dogs everywhere and, and we just take them with us, don't we? we? We don't often think about actually sometimes the impact on them and, and it does take training, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. And some dogs will be um, going to be naturally more confident and others are going to be a bit more unsure. So it's recognising how they feel about something and then making sure that the training is in the right way for, for that. So you're not dumping them too much in the deep end and giving them a bad time. They're actually having a fun time and it's all a good positive experience. And obviously sausage helps. <laughs> say uh, that I've never said if this was my dog right now I think she would just be staring at you and they just have those eyes don't they and it just goes to show wherever you are you know whether you're at home whether you're out you, you can't resist the eyes can you oh no those puppy dog eyes <laughs> <laughs> but to, to be able to sort of just bring dog owners together and Sarah as you mentioned as well you know just, just be able to have chats and, and I guess for the dogs to meet each other it, it, it's sort of just a, a nice part of the festival I think many people wouldn't really expect would they it's no it's no pressure and and a lot of what Olivia is saying with the training as well is they, they all need to relax and you have time to relax and that's what festival's all about as well isn't it you time to relax and and, and the dogs do as well 
So when it comes to, to taking on the, the agility, how? How do you do it? Because, again, I, I have a husky. She she likes to try and obey at times, but but how would you tackle this? I think it's uh, uh, each obstacle individually. Um, <laughs> um, let's not try and do the whole course all at once. Um, they've got to be quite comfortable moving around objects, the tunnels. I think the, the weavy poles are really quite fun do a lot of nose work with them, getting them to follow your hand and leading them through and over the jumps normally requires people to go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what I'm now going to do? I'm going to I'm going to jump over the hurdles. Here we go. One, two, three. And while I do this and do my exercise for the day, you can listen to Tina Turner.